Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The Museum Archive. Today, we are here in one of the most visited museum of the world, the British Museum, London. In this short video, I will explore five of the diverse indigenous cultures of native North America and Mexico and highlight five ancient relics of the Huacteks, Aztec, Chico Micote, and the Mixtec Aztec civilization. Come and join me, and together we will glimpse the colorful past and immortalize the primordial civilization of Latin American civilization inside the British Museum. A hub, the Las Vegas of the ancient world of American continent, the diversified indigenous North America and Mexico civilization can be traced back for more than 13,000 years, which written history spans for more than three millennia. Number five, stone figure of Zocopili, produced in 1350 to 1521 during Aztec civilization. Zocopili, whose name means flower prince, was a solar deity and the patron of feasting, music, dancing, and poetry. The warm red color of the stone selected for this sculpture alludes to his generative powers. He was honored and feted early in the growing season. In his negative aspects, he punished sins of excess. Number four, Huaxtec female, Chazolchoti. Chazolchoti was the goddess of filth worshiped throughout Mesoamerica. She was a goddess of sexuality and fertility who would devour excitement and sin and transform it into a renewed vitality. Sex was highly regulated in Aztec society and sexual transgressions heavily punished. Some sexual misdemeanors were confessed to a priest of Chazilchoti and were forgiven if the penitent worshiper underwent an appropriate penance Usually, they would shed their own blood, piercing their tongue, ears, or pennies with a stingray spine. The statue was made by the Huastecs, a people conquered by the Aztecs in about 450. Goddess statues like this were erected throughout Huastec territory and were the main focus of the region. Number three. Standing figures of the Chico Micuati, produced in 1300 to 1521 during Aztec civilization. A popular feminine deity is a standing figure framed by a large rectangular headdress, known as an amakali or house of paper. This was worn by an impersonator during the harvest festival, and similar figures holding maize cubs are thought to represent Chikumikawati, the goddess of maize and sustenance. The large number of these sculptures that have survived suggest that they were mass produced and may therefore have served as cult images for local temples and even household shrines. As with other Aztec sculpture, these figures have clear Gulf Coast antecedents. Number two, Ceremonial Shield. Produced in 1400 to 1521 during the mystic Aztec civilization. The Ceremonial Shield portrays the principal divisions of the Aztec universe. Viewed horizontally and circular shapes corresponds to the surface of the earth with a navel-like solar disk at its center. From this extend four rays outlined in red shell dividing the world into four quarters, in each of which stands a sky bearer. A vertical reading reveals a great serpent emerging from toothed jaws to coil upwards around a tall tree. The tree trunk forms a world axis connecting the underworld, earthly and celestial spheres. 
at the top of the trunk, an anthropomorphic mask implies that the tree may also be seen as a metaphor for the king who derives his authority on earth from divine source of power. The shield was originally adorned with brilliant feathers attached to the holes around the circumference and was reserved for use on special occasions as an emblem signaling the warrior king's right to rule. Number 1. Torquist Mosaic of a Double-Headed Serpent Produced in 1400 to 1521 during Mixtec Aztec civilization, double-headed or paired serpents are an enduring theme in Mesoamerican mythology and religion. In the Aztec language, Nahuati, the word Kawati means serpent or twin and forms part of the name of important deities such as Quetzalcoatl and Cotlicu. Certain species of snakes rear up to form a vertical column when enraged in a creative act of copulation. The turquoise mosaics, in this case, are among the few surviving examples of its extraordinary lapidary art that were probably made by the mixtec artisans working and may have been among the treasures given by the emperor Mositosuma II to Cortes upon his arrival on the coast of Mexico in 1519. That's all guys! Hope you enjoyed this short video. I would like to thank the British Museum for the valuable sources and materials and also Wikipedia, Ancient History Encyclopedia, and Google Art and Culture. Please don't forget to comment and share your ideas below. And for more video presentation about museum relics, monuments, artifacts, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Museum Archive.